fact, political correctness creates moral corruption. Why? Because it challenges the asking of questions. How dare you ask that question? But the question that you're afraid to ask is the question that will provide the answer that will be most beneficial to you. And so you can't go through life afraid to find the answers to questions because questions are the answer to better thinking. And see, I learned a long time ago that if I ever disagree with anybody, I am right 100% of the time. Did anybody ever figure that out? Like, you, like when I disagree with somebody, I'm right 100% of the time. But I'm not right necessarily on the thing that we disagree about. I'm right about this. There's a 50% chance they could be right, and there's a 50% chance I could be right. And if I'm afraid to find out that I'm wrong and they're right, I cannot know the truth. Are y'all tracking? I can't know the truth because I'm afraid that my answer, the answer that I think is an answer, might not actually be an answer. And I don't want to investigate that because then I have to use brain power, which, by the way, burns more calories than just about any exercise you're going to do. I have to use energy and mental bandwidth to answer a question that I had relegated to autopilot. How many of y'all track it? And so what I've got to do is I've got to be willing to ask questions about the answers I think I have. I said this yesterday. A friend of mine, I got this quote from a friend of mine, Joe Marfolio. He said, I would rather have questions I can't answer than answers I can't question. If you're afraid that an answer that you have won't hold up to questioning, maybe you're afraid of that because in your heart of hearts, you already know it's not really the answer. Mm, I wish I had some help in here. Oh, Lord. See, the reality is you cannot think clearly about a thing with an agenda. Mm. Am I talking too fast? If you have a way that you desire it to be, you lose a level of ability to discern how it actually is. And so what I've got to do is I've got to be willing to examine that my most closely held, highly honored beliefs might be wrong. And if I'm not willing to examine that, the question really is, what am I afraid of? What am I afraid I'm going to find out on the other side of this investigation that I don't desire to know? I like I have some things that I am 1000% fully persuaded about. I am Myron Freddie Golden. There's no doubt in my mind about that. But if somebody comes to me and says, well, you think you're Myron Freddie Golden, but you're actually, you know, Engelbert Humperdinck. I don't know why I said his name because because I just thought that was the most fascinatingly odd name that I'd ever heard when I was growing up. Right. OK. Anyway. That was amusing. Anyway, forget it. Um, so if somebody came, I would be open to the investigation because I'm not worried about finding out that I'm wrong. Are you are y'all you, are you, are tracking? If somebody comes and says, Myron, the Bible is not the word of God. I believe the Bible is the word of God. But if somebody can come to me and demonstrate that it's not, I'm open to that conversation because I'm not afraid I'm going to find out I'm wrong. I don't have to be afraid of finding out. Like the, the truth is its own defense. And so I don't have to be defensive for the truth to defend the truth. Are y'all tracking? And so, so questions are the answer to better thinking. And, and, and like always beware of people who silence questions because they don't like the answer. Those are some of the most dangerous people in the world. Those people turn into Hitlers and Stalins. Jesus wasn't afraid of questions. You know why? Because he he knew the answer because he created the answer before the person ever came up with the question. (laughs) Y'all tracking? And so what we have to do is we have to get to the place in our lives where we are not afraid to find out that our closely held beliefs 
are not what we believe them to be. Most people make the mistake of thinking that they believe the truth when in reality, they just think their beliefs are true. Mm. Can I get a witness? And your beliefs might be true. But they might not be true. And if they're not true, the longer it takes you to find out they're not true, the longer you are in the danger zone. So questions are the answer to better thinking. One of my favorite people to listen to or to watch YouTube videos uh, on YouTube is Jordan Peterson. Not because I agree with him about everything. Because I don't. I don't agree with everybody. I don't agree with anybody about everything. Like, I don't even know if I agree with me about everything. And what I mean by that is I have found out too many times in my life that things that I believe to be true in the past, I found out later that they weren't true. And I am more loyal to the truth than I am to my beliefs. I mean, I'll track it. And so, so when I watch Jordan Peterson and he has a, he has a conversation with somebody or a debate as he tends to have, I love watching him. Because the thing that is apparent when he's in a debate with anybody that I've ever seen him in a debate with, he has already posed their argument to himself before they did. So he had an answer for them. But they never posed his argument to themselves because they believed they were right and it didn't deserve examination. And so when they uncover and find out that they were wrong, they're like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm. well, you should have thought about that before you started the argument. I mean, I'll track it. And so what we've got to do is we've got to be willing to examine our beliefs perpetually. Because the more we grow, the more we begin to see things in different lights. And we may come to a conclusion later that we did not come to formally about the same thing. So questions are the better answer to better thinking. Why is that so important? Because right now you are exactly one. How many? One idea away from your first fortune or next fortune, whichever the case may be. One idea away. One idea well executed away from the, re- from the relationship that you've been looking for, from the business success you've been looking for, for the, for the health, from the health breakthrough you've been looking for, you are one idea well executed away. When you think about the fact that there was a time Sam Walton was only one idea from Walmart.